All right, what's up guys? So we are uh, back with another video today. I, uh, I am finally back from the break I took. I took about a one month break. That's the longest I've taken in, uh, in about a year. So there's a couple reasons why I took that break. Uh, one being that I literally was just struggling to catch fish and that's me being completely honest. I was going like five or six times in a row on uh, getting skunked and I was just like, it's time for a break. And uh, just what happened to happen is like six, my sixth time in a row fishing, I think, without catching anything, I was running a flat and super skinny water, just a big sand flat giant. And uh, it was about a foot of water maybe. And uh, I ended up running aground and my whole skeg actually broke off. So I'll throw a picture up right now of what it kind of looked like as we were rebuilding it. And uh, that is the second reason why I took a break is because my engine was just being worked on for quite a while. Thirdly, I, or thir thirdly, is that a word? Third reason I took a break is because I lost like 15 pounds. So I took some time off to exercise and just make sure I could get everything right. And uh, I lost 15 pounds. You probably can't notice um, from this, this picture, but I did. So it feels good. And uh, we're back to fishing. So it is March 9th today. It is... Uh, it's starting to get into that time where it's like we're snook fishing, we're tarpon fishing, there's thunderstorms, and uh, it's about to be that best time of the year. So what we're going to do today is uh, on the return, we are going to test out this theory that bananas give you bad luck. So I just went ahead and ate this banana. Um, I got a whole bunch of bananas right here, but we're going to keep these guys in the boat. Got a banana peel right here. I'll just go ahead and keep it in here. Um, we're going to be fishing, throwing paddle tails today. If you guys don't know the story behind like bananas and fishing, basically, if you have a banana in your boat, it equals bad luck. So I'm not exactly sure how that uh, that theory or superstition came to be. If you do know, leave it in the comments. And uh, we're about to get fishing here, and I'm going to see what happens when I just keep a full bunch of bananas in the boat. I already ate one for breakfast, so I'm feeling pretty good, ready to go. And uh, oh, last thing goals for 2020. I didn't mention any goals for this year. Um, I figured it'd be better to tell you guys instead of just keeping them in my head. So one thing I want to do is gain a total of 10,000 subscribers. That's not reach 10,000 subscribers. That's gain a total of 10,000. And I also want to gain at least 250 likes on every single video. So you guys help me make it happen. I'm going to be working hard. Oh, and I want to hit a total of 100 videos in 2020. Um, no, that's not a total reach. That is a hundred more videos to go for the end of 2020. Let's get fishing. All right, boys. So today I'm going to start off with these, uh, Guggen squad or Guggen baits. Uh, what the heck are these called? Guggen bait saucy swimmer, 3.3 inch. We're going to throw it on a fathom inch or jig head that I love using. And, uh, you guys can grab these at shop Carl's, which I'll leave a link in the description. This video is sponsored by Carl's bait and tackle. So if you guys want to go ahead and check them out or support the channel, just go on there through the link in my description, make an order, and uh, that helps support the channel. So that's our presentation for the day. Green back, bluish silver belly, red jig head, and uh, we're going to throw it around. I believe the jig head's a uh, quarter of an ounce. I could be wrong. Pretty sure it's a quarter of an ounce. Um, so I'm standing up here. We're up on a flat. We got a dock right here on the right. I think I'm going to go down and throw this dock every single piling, see what's in between. We got crystal clear water. Hopefully you guys can see that under the boat. Got some grass and uh, hopefully a redfish, trout, maybe a black drum, maybe a snook. That is the goal for the day. We got our bananas in the boat right here. Keep them nice and safe. There is two, four, six of them. Honestly, should I try to eat all six of them before the end of the day? That'd be kind of bad. I don't think I should eat that many bananas, but let's go. Tarpon right here. There's a bunch of tarpon under the dock, guys. Ooh. They were so tiny. There's literally like three or four little tarpon, like maybe 12 inches that just came out under the dock right there. Oh, why did I set the hook? A little bit too early. A little bit too early. Okay. That was that was one of the tarpon right there. He was he was pretty, he was bigger. Wanna get a better angle. 
he kind of spooked me. He opened his mouth closed on it, pulled, but I, I knew it was just, just a tad, like maybe a second too early. Should have let him come down with it a little bit more. Got a little excited, but that was sweet. I told you guys, we're getting to that time of tarpon, thunderstorms, big snook. Can't wait, guys. Summer is by far my favorite. I think everyone's favorite. Honestly. Oh, there's a fish right there. Red fish to my right. Nice red fish actually. No. Where'd he go? You guys probably can't see that, but he chased it really hard for about, yeah, chased it really hard for about three. Another one right here. Missed him. Go at him again. Man, I suck. Maybe these bananas were a really bad idea. I actually suck. Or maybe I'm just really rusty. That redfish just murdered the paddle tail and I kind of got excited. Set the hook, I just half an inch too early. I couldn't really see him though, so that's one thing. But still, holy crap, I suck. There's actually two there. I don't know if you guys could see any of that. The first one just took off. The second one just went to just kill the paddle tail, but kind of just pulled it out of his mouth. Or I didn't set the hook hard enough. One of, one of the two. There's a the fish. Here we go. Right under that dock. Whew. That's sweet little red fish. All right. Come here, buddy. In the boat. Finally. Alrighty, so first fish to break the, uh, I don't know, the curse I had. That is a really, really nice red fish right there. Maybe about 18 inches or so, but crushed little Guggen Bait's uh, paddle tail under that dock. That took about, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half to get my first fish. Missed a couple, but that is okay. So. Look at this fish right here. That is a beautiful tail. That's a three spot on that side. Three? Yeah. Three. Three on that side. Then on this side, if you guys can see, we got another three spots, two on the tail, one in the back. So a six spot redfish. That's 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 a lot of spots for a, for a redfish. You usually don't catch them that many. Usually a total of two is the average, but really nice fish. Let's go ahead and uh, release them and uh, bananas in the boat. So. I don't know, maybe it's a good luck type of thing. Maybe it's a bad luck type of thing, who knows. Let's keep fishing, see how the day will end. Ooh, pop that out of him. All right, let's lay him back in the water. Goodbye. Ooh. All right, nice fish right there. That was uh, that was sweet. That is a uh, good fish to start the day off on. Unfortunately, I missed that tarpon, missed that other little redfish today, but I'm happy to get that one. So. There was a guy watching me <laughs> catch that fish and talk to the camera there, right there, and I feel really awkward. That's kind of funny. Didn't even notice him. He was probably like, what the heck is that kid doing? <laughs> oh, another one. Another one. No, he's... Oh, no. Oh, no. He's going to break me off. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, he's out, he's out. Ugh. Come here, buddy. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Holy crap. The, the next dock down, there was another redfish under the dock. That's sick. Come here, buddy. Clear water there, killing the paddle tail right now. Another little guy. That seems to be the average size redfish today. I've seen probably a total of like, I, I'd say it, I've seen a total of 10 now. 
caught two. And uh, they're all like, I don't know, in between 15 and 20 inches. Come here, buddy. All right, number two redfish of the day right there. Really, really pretty red. Um, bright red, bright, bright red. They're, uh, a lot of times redfish will uh, kind of match the color of uh, the body of water they're in. So if they happen to be on the beach or really crystal clear sandy bottom, they'll be really light in color. Then if they're in uh, on grass flats, stuff like that, maybe dirtier water, they'll be a lot dirtier, more like a dark brown. And uh, there he is, one last time, we're gonna go ahead and lay him back in the water and uh, we're gonna keep fishing. See, see what we can do. The bananas may be good luck, who knows? Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's a little secret. All right, back in the water you go. Nice. Honestly, I think I'm gonna crack open number two for the day. Oh, big fish in front of me. I don't know what that was, but he just went sideways on a mullet. I just saw something big just go freaking. There's a school of something in front of me. I don't think these are mullet. Are this black drum in front of me? Wait, what is right in front of me? a bunch of trout that's what it was there's trout everywhere oh shoot oh my god there's literally like a hundred trout right here all right Grab some candy, little guys. These are perfect for big trout. Whew. Oh my gosh, these are so perfect. I don't think I have a bubbler, so I think I can only keep like so many in just a five gallon bucket. So I got a bunch of little mullet. I'm probably gonna put about six to eight of these guys in here. And then we're gonna run over to where I saw all those big trout. We're gonna try to hook one. All right, so I threw on a circle hook here. This is a little bit on the big side of a circle hook for these size mullet and uh, trout, but you never know. It should work just fine. So I'm gonna take this little guy and just rig him right through the uh, head, just like that. Drop him in the water and let's go find those big trout. All right, so now I just need to find where all those big trout went. They were sitting right up here on this this clear, glassy area. So hopefully I can just pull back up here and they're still sitting there. They rejected the paddle sail earlier. So hopefully live mullet will be the key to uh, getting them to eat. He just got eaten. There he is. <laughs> nice. That was sweet. That was sweet. There's so many trout taken off all around. That was sweet. Oh, dude, they're eating the mullet. The mullet survived and just got blasted by another trout. Get my hands wet so I don't pull the scales off. That's a nice trout right there. Probably, probably right at 20 inches, I would say. Um, circle hook right in the corner of the lip. All right, we'll lay him back in the water right here. Goodbye. All right. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. 
Um, just about to eat my third banana because I caught three fish today. And uh, I hope you guys uh, hope you guys are looking forward to the summer because it, there's going to be a lot of videos. Um, so the plan is 100 between now and the end of the year. And uh, let's do it. Guys, hit the subscribe button and uh, be sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.